Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm here with a few of my studio mates. Uh, this is uh, Travis. He's uh, doing a show at our main gallery. We're at Fault Line Art Space. Um, Ground Zero. <laughs> we're also here with uh, David Polka yep. and uh, Mario Nostero. What's up? So we're just uh, going to run through the show here that Travis just put up. So th this is uh, Travis's second show. This is uh, called uh, Dinosauria Wii, is the title of the show. And that's after Bukowski. Yeah, Charles Bukowski poem. One of my famous friends, famous, very bad friends. Similar mind state. So, he talks about all the shit. Yeah, Dinosauria Wii. So, how long did this take? Uh, work on it for like maybe like two nights a week or three nights a week. Yeah. For three weeks, so. Yeah. But in late nights, you get a lot of tequila. <laughs> for this one, definitely. Basically, I feel like he knew what was going to happen with like right now. Yeah. When he wrote it. But it's. I don't know. It's almost prophetic to see what it has become, like where we are now. Yeah. But at the same time, he was just writing about the state of the world at the time, so it's just like nothing's really changed. You know? Yeah, it's one little progression of fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just a string of, of fuckery, so. Yeah, Dinosauria Wii is sound, sounding pretty. It sounded fancy. But yeah, and I've been writing Born into this on on walls and stuff like for the last like few months yeah. from that poem. Yeah. Kind of just the uh, state of the world. Hate, hopelessness, hope. Yeah. All that shit. The hustle. Yeah, basically. So did you start this one like most of them with like the really loose gestures and spray paint and then you like fill it in from there? Yeah. Uh, I started basically with like the dark blues and then was with a big with a big roller on a stick okay. without working on the ground. So I just basically was making huge rolling shapes and yeah. shit. And then cut back in with spray paint and just kind of kept layering it like that. Yeah, for sure. I think it was the piece that you see is like a the yards, the yards, yeah, it's the brush, it's the brush, it's the brush on the end. Yeah. It kind of is the only way when you're trying to make gestures like that, like your arm won't do it, you yeah. know what I mean? And even if you were like laying down, so you've been kind of like working like that, you know what I mean? It's super fun flat too, because it's nothing drips really, so yeah. you're not like, worry about that. yeah, you just sit it and fucking start letting it rip. Yeah, I was standing on the work like, the whole time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can see a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we got that. There you go. We got this one's a good one. We got the uh, size 11 and a half uh, croc sandal <laughs> print. <laughs> Crocs and alligators. Yeah, dude. But it's pretty sick, and like, that's actually two pieces of canvas overlapped. Okay, yeah, I see that. And then uh, I didn't realize it until like after I'd been painting, like, oh, like I can't just have two separate pieces of paint. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I had to find them somehow, so I used Gorilla Glue. Yeah. Gorilla Glue to overlap in layers. Works super fucking good. I would make notice if you have to join it up. Yeah. And this is like, yeah. Pretty good technique so far, so I'm gonna try to crank out a few more like this. I really do get excited for this. So we can just like really like step into it. Yeah. So we get it. Really get into it. Yeah, I think I think the wall being too short that it turned out to actually be like a kind of a blessing in disguise. So. Yeah. Yeah, this does sort of remind me of the, the old apartment. It was just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Environment. It was this through the 
the whole house up. It is 360 the fucking house. You shout out to Joe. That guy. Very yeah, I'm excited about these palm fronds that you did. Yeah, yeah. This, they look kind of heavy. They're actually pretty, they're actually really light though. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's a good it's deal. like, it's kind of like oddly petrified already. Like yeah. once they get dried out and when they fall off the tree. Yeah. And it just has a lot of really dope, wavy, textural stuff going on. Yeah. It reminds me of like elephants and those, that animals has always been oddly majestic and interesting to me. Yeah. <clears throat> and when we were stuck at the house for those first few weeks, you know, our first month or so of the whole, like, fucking COVID shit, it was kind of like working with what I had at the, at the house. Yeah. Not being able to be at the studio, so it was just like, oh, let me start painting on these things in the backyard. Reason to be outside. Yeah. Then it made it look like I was trying to get rid of them, which was like my task for the backyard. Oh, okay. No, yeah, like the yard work and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, go out there and do the backyard. I was like, oh, I got that for sure. And I get out there and I'm like, these are super dope. I can paint these things. And then say, you know, I'm just in the backyard painting all and all the trash I'm supposed to take out. Take it like a hundred times longer than it would. You yeah, know, for sure. There's still the pile's still there. Like, no, no, I got this as well. Now it's material. Now it's like not just trash. Now I can paint the rest of it. So yeah, I, I hear it. Yeah, it was a good genesis for a, a project, and eventually we'll just I'll paint on all the on all of them. Yeah, we'll have them somewhere. But yeah, so that was kind of yeah, I had like a cool like, last like feel. Definitely, yeah, like totems and like yeah. all that stuff, and just like the palm tree in general is kind of always kind. Of, it's like one of those trees that has like a kind of like mysticism about it, yeah. you know, throughout cultures and stuff. Yeah. And for it to be kind of like a byproduct of that, and also have this like resemblance to like animals, and it's I don't know, just in its whole kind of context is oddly symbolic, you know what I mean? Just as a material. Yeah. And then adding like the face to it and shit like that kind of makes it I think. Yeah. <laughs> are these three newer ones? These are fairly recent. Yeah. Um I don't know working on these. I was working on these like like pre shut down, like trying to like work on some smaller stuff. Fucking came up on a bunch of different wood panels. Yeah. Just flat sheets that were already ready to paint on, so figured I'd crush them out. That's cool. Dude, I think she's working on checking herself out in a little mirror. What did you use for, for like, I guess these two, but that one for paint? For is that house paint? Because it's so matte, it's really dope. This is um, house, yeah. This yeah. Is, like matte blue on yeah. top of like this slightly darker blue. I kind of was, I don't know, I'm still kind of messing with like tonality in that sense. Like yeah. instead of always using like a bunch of colors, just using variants of like the same, maybe three colors. Yeah. And it kind of gives it a different kind of depth or and stuff, but without like really over complicating the like the visual, like fucking, you know. Six colors all off of this, you know, different places. You can kind of you get all of the colors. Yeah, I think I think limiting your palette and doing some pretty cool stuff. Right? For sure, even when you're working with like gloss or non-gloss, like just those subtle differences can be yeah. just something that looks way different. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, like with this one, the like super gloss. Uh, what is it? Rustoleum. The Rustoleum reds. Oh yeah. Like ruin your like you basically have to throw the paintbrush you already have to use it unless yeah. you like, have some good oil cleaning material but yeah. on top of the like matte and green. Finding posters that I like in the street and then just using the their like face or the eyeballs and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of like 
studio work trickling over into like street and like mural work and kind of the, the blending of like because they both kind of go it goes back and forth you know sometimes you'll come up with something painting like outside and take it into the studio and then other times take something from the studio and put it on the wall but yeah that's been super fun i'm constantly looking for more of those there's like a few but they're like on these super tall billboards being a wuss right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this thing's almost dry, actually, finally. Those are oil bars? Yeah. I don't see them still. <laughs> yeah, to get the first. Those oil bars, man. I think the first, the first layer I put on this was just an oil stick. I used a whole red oil stick on it. This is the one. Clouds are a theme right now. I don't know why, but it seems to be that once I busted out all the work, like Molly's like cloud shape. It's tight. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know the inside of this one. I don't know if it's into like weird little like sections of paintings too, where it's yeah. like, like really into just like one brush stroke. Or... The contrast is nice in the orange and blue. Yeah, the silver is awesome. Yeah, silver has been a. A fun, like a real big theme for me right now too. I don't know, it's just it's shiny. Yeah. <laughs> or it's it's kind of like, like uh, better than like a white outline. Like yeah. normally I would use either like a white or like some other like or like yellow or something. You know something. Yeah. To, to bring that contrast out, but the silver is just like got this really kind of sheeny, weird element to it. That, yeah, it's not nice. like yeah. I've always wanted to have a silver tooth. <laughs> like if I ever like lose a tooth, I'll probably yeah. replace it with silver. Yeah. I don't want to have to, but hopefully we'll see. Yeah. I've gotten lucky so far all these years of skating, I've not any teeth back. So. Yeah, I'm a little surprised to be honest. No, yeah, for real, me too. I've hit my face pretty hard or gotten hit in the face with my board pretty hard and might be like, oh, oh. <laughs> you check, but yeah, yeah. so far so good. But if I do, I'll keep putting this over too. <laughs> Looks like a pipe or something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, this is a cool one. It's a face. Cool, that's what you want to Yeah. Yeah. Turns out, too, this skull is in the skull. I guess I had two. There were two skulls in the that same magazine. I guess I was cutting stuff out of it. Yeah. That skull is in the eye of the. The croc, the croc, the alligator. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah nice. So nice. it's kind of both made completely separately from each other. Yeah. But I guess it's like one of those things, like common thematity. I guess, like in your mind, like yeah. the same way you use like colors, like a lot of the same colors. A lot. Of, I think it was a National Geographic, and it was all about like, so like the Prometheus. Yeah, yeah, like Prometheus man shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just like like ripping skulls off and then um, I had like a bunch of porno mags I was like cutting stuff out of so I think this was like a redheaded magazine I had <laughs> um, and just like kind of combined it and put her inside of the thing. I was like trying to move away from using so much pornography at the time yeah. into like trying to just like make images that were just paint you know this is subtle though, that's what I like about the collage elements in the show is that they're like not not overly collage. It like it fits in with the paint. The yeah. Paint if out. anything I'm trying I'm constantly trying not to use collage, yeah. but then like there's just certain ones where I'm just like, oh this one's fucking sad. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I felt bad for having to take her chop her head off, but I kept some of the head the hair and stuff. Yeah. The orange, like with the satin on the back, that was like a good can of spray paint came across. I mean, I love that that mix of like creepy and sexy, honestly. Yeah, can't go it's wrong a subtle, that. you know, yeah. you can be a total weirdo about it, but you can also like have this kind of, it, you know, it's like the same thing with like silver and, and gold, like the shiny elements and like sexy elements of things are always kind of like, they just draw you in, you know? It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's always intriguing, you know? For sure. Yeah, the scrapers. I actually like these. These smaller pieces are a lot because 
to like have some of the smaller details that you can really like get into as opposed to like on the big ones you know like you'll have some of those elements but you can't really tell unless you like get really spend some time to get up close with it yeah i feel like these smaller panels you can kind of like really see like oh he's like scraping or yeah you know some of them have like hair on them and yeah fuck that fingerprints and shit so yeah kind of get the, the humanity of it you know i try not to keep everything too clean yeah you gotta show the hand of the artist. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely all about that. For sure. Yeah, here's another face of us. I wanted to figure something out, some way to mount these, like a wear it or something. Yeah, I can see like a oh, like, like, form. It doesn't really like fit on really like sit on this one. Yeah, you need like, like a, a crowd. You need know, like a I definitely, there's definitely more elements to be had, like, I have got more ideas for these palm fronts, because, like, there's just, like, so much you can do with them, there's, yeah, there's super interesting pieces, because these bend, and they break right into a huge leaf, like, an extended leaf, so, like, there's other ones that have, I have, like, one that say bend, or full mass that bend like this, but then they yeah. extend out for, like, 15 feet, oh, right. into a, into a full-blown, yeah, like, like belief basics. Yeah, these are. I'm super obsessed with these right now. Yeah. All of them are, have their own weird little like. Just, yeah, some stoner shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. These bad boys. This one's kind of neat. Yeah. It's fucking. Like, it's like it's like a super metal. chrome. Yeah. Is that all spray paint? No, it's mostly house paint and it started off with spray onto just like raw canvas and some, uh, yeah, yeah, it's basically spray and house paint. But, yeah, this is just something I started because I wanted to have two paintings that match the purple wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the colors might be like muscle and fat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the, like some, uh, when you yeah. get the uh the three bus in the yeah. <laughs> in the flood. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, this one is kind of quick reaction type paintings. I don't know how to really yeah. explain it. I guess everything I painted that way, but I definitely wasn't like trying to like hurt my head over what it meant or like translating anything. It was more just like Moving, moving the paint around and like yeah. making the image real quick and like Instant. having fun with it. Yeah, like le uh, like a less is more type of attitude where you don't have to like really pull all the stunts in order to like just like make a painting that is like fun or yeah has some sort of context. You know, what I mean? worked it's out. Trying to brush your paint Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit down here, it's nice. Yeah, the silver is really nice on those too. Kind of sucks it up. Yeah, the rock right. this, this thick element. Like I was working on, whether I've been working with everything flat so you could really goop paint on. Yeah. And just get like that nice, meaty, thick, weird kind of texture and stuff that, I don't know, it's just kind of when it's on the wall, really. And this, this part of my favorite section. Like web, yeah. web spray. I don't know. That's kind of been what I've been into lately. It's just like letting paint do like what it wants, and then yeah. kind of appreciating it for that when it's over. Kind of being like, oh, that's super dope. Like, yeah, this is what it did, as opposed to always trying to like master the the medium and be like. Yeah, be really the paint will do what I want it to do. Yeah, you know, yeah, fuck it. It's its own paint. <laughs> yeah. This looks like really nice. It looks like basket weave or something. Yeah, that was like scribbles and then the cutbacks and then hitting it back with more spray. Like it almost has a like an airbrush fucking kind of feel to it. Yeah. Which is super hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, together, like you kind of ripped up at the top, and that's like a 
staple in it. Yeah. And I like, had all the staples in my foot and shit. And I was like kind of working on this coming right out of the breaking my feet. Yeah. And I was like kind of hyped. I was like, yeah, I got staples. So I was like stapled the fuck out the painting too. Because then I had staples in my foot. <laughs> Maybe that silver is representing some sort of oh, the, like metal. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, this one was kind of something that when I started, I was kind of like, yeah, that's whatever. Yeah. Be, and then in the end, I was kind of like, yeah, I kind of mean. Valentine is like the one. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, dude, like, I thought it was like, kind of like, whatever, I'll staple it, but then, like, now, like, when I, like, look at my foot and it has the staple marks, like, in it, and, like, I'm like, oh, okay, you're like, uh, Frankenstein scars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're seeing it's like, it's like, uh, the part of the whole, like, I don't know, like, Tap, like the tap in type of information that's like yeah all, it's all the subconscious yeah it's all there like as cheesy as it is to say like it is art like all that information is inside of you already yeah you know what I mean it's a matter of accessing it or like being aware of accessing it but yeah yeah most of the time you're not really aware of it it's just like happening and then hindsight you're able to plug in like be like, oh, okay. Turns out I was like trying to warn myself of something, or yeah. Know, turns out, you know, I've already been here, you know, yeah. some shit like that. So that's a big element, I think, of things. Yeah, this is the other side of basically this guy. Yeah. With the wolf head thing, kind of character. I fucking been having the full moon wolf, the fucking wolf out on the full moons and yep. shit. So that's kind of the <laughs> representer of that with the dude's face with the wolf face too. Yeah. Like the body's all like breaking apart. We're about to have a full moon here too. I'm you know, on Friday, so I gotta like go lock myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, it's bad, it's like, it's yeah. become a, it's a real thing, like, do you remember, I mean, I've, like, had a bunch of crazy blackouts and, like, epic injuries and like, <laughs> yeah. always on full moons, it's like, what, I wake up, like, oh, what happened, and then I'd be like, oh, full moon, full moon came out. yeah, and, like, day, like, two days before, like, two days after, there's, like, a window there where I'm, like, I'm very prone to, like, I guess, like, lunacy, you know, so yeah. they call it. I'm like yeah. one of those people for sure. So yeah, like we just kind of like always joke about the werewolf shit. You know, yeah. Werewolf out again? It's like yeah, like fuck. Cause they're having fun, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, if that were the case, <laughs> it's good. When, it's good when you're locked up in the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's why I try to like either be in the lab or be somewhere like you know, stationary. Stationary, yeah. yeah. When the, when the full moon hits, so yeah, I try to stay aware of that. But yeah. I think that's kind of like where this this character came from. Brain. In the brain. In the brain. 